Salut, you know, and bienvenue au corpo aujourd'hui. Right, guys, I hope you're all well. Today, we're continuing with um, the language we looked at last time, saying what we're allowed to do and giving opinions. And we're going to be testing you on that vocab today and the grammar. And we'll look at some reading and listening to see what you can do. Donc, beaucoup de choses à faire aujourd'hui. On commence. Vous savez ce qu'il faut faire. S'il vous plaît, il faut inventer la date pour moi, s'il vous plaît. Et copier le titre du genre dans le cahier j'en ai marre what does that mean in English et puis ici vous avez le contrôle de post-it vous savez ce qu'il faut faire je vous ai donné la première lettre pour chaque mot il faut traduire I can, I can as long as en français pour moi s'il vous plaît bon courage mettez-moi ce pause quand tu es prêt pour les réponses à recommencer la vidéo posez-moi maintenant Hello, me pity. Right, guys, if you've restarted me, you've you all got yourself sorted out and you've done your post and note challenge. I'll go through the answers for that in a second. So today, we're testing you on that vocabulary. Remember, I've talked about <clears throat> how keen I am for you to use this when it comes to your speaking exam and your writing exam, expressing yourself. If you say your mum's too strict, give some examples. What are you allowed to do? What aren't you? That's going to make the examiner give you the top mark that you deserve. Right, guys? So, we'll test you on that vocabulary today, and we're going to do some reading and listening to see what you know. Mais avant tout ça, let's have a look at our control de post-it, all from last lesson. I can. You've got to know our verb. C'est je. C'est je peux. I can. Je ne peux pas. Voilà. As long as you say in French, under the reserve that. Sous réserve que. Did you get that one? Alors, it's fair, c'est juste. It's unfair, ce n'est pas juste. Easy. And then, I love this one. Frankly, it's crazy. Franchement, c'est fou. Now he talks about these exclamatives. Uh, franchement, c'est flu. J'en ai mal. Use them in your work. Use them in your writing. Use them in your speaking. The examiner loves them. It's worth big big marks so just learn a few and put them in and use them right guys so that's what we're going to do today this is the start a little bit of our vocab let's warm you up before our control de vocabulaire et voilà mes petits vous savez ce qu'il faut faire ici j'ai 15 mots clés du corps dernier mettez moi ce pause et il faut dire anglais français anglais français aussi rapide que possible par exemple until jusqu'à to go out sortir I'm allowed to j'ai le doigt de to go out alone sortir toute seule I'm not allowed to je n'ai pas le doigt de that, that was a bit dodgy hopefully you can do better than that put me on pause prepare yourselves when you think you're ready recommencer le video and I'll cut it out allo mes petits let's see what you can do pause me when I say allez toi deux un bon courage Wait for it. Allez! Et alors, right guys, so hopefully you're a bit more warmed up. You've seen this language. Now, this is the real test. Le bon nouvelle, c'est que c'est dans le bon ordre. Donc, ceci, c'est numéro 1. Et puis, on a numéro 2, numéro 3, numéro 4. <laughs> c'est dans le bon ordre. Le problème, j'ai pris les mots et j'ai remplacé les mots avec le premier lettre seulement. Il faut dire anglais, français, anglais, français rapidement. Par exemple, until jusqu'à to go out, sortir. I'm allowed to, j'ai le droit de. To go out alone, sortir toute seule. I'm not allowed to, je n'ai pas le droit de. Et voilà. You need a bit more preparation this time. Mettez-moi ce pause. Préparez-vous. When you're ready, restart the video and I'll count you down and then pause me again. I forgot to say, j'ai oublié de dire. Get your phone out. Time yourself on this. See how quickly you can do it. Prepare yourselves. Restart me, and I'll count you down. Allo, mes petits. Right, start the timer on your phone when I say allez. Put me on pause and see how quickly you can do this. About 35 seconds, I think, will be a really good time. Allo, mes petits. Toi, deux, un. Pause me. Allez. Alors, mes petits, right, you've had a little warm-up, et maintenant, c'est le temps pour le contrôle de uh, vocabulaire. J'ai attaché une feuille sur Frog. Regardez la feuille maintenant, je vais expliquer ce qu'il faut faire. Alors, c'est la même activité que normalement pour les contrôles de vocabulaire. Il y a deux um, parties. Partie 1, c'est 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ici, voilà, jusqu'à numéro 5. Il faut traduire le français 
en anglais pour moi. Comment dire les choses en anglais? Pa, six. Pardon, je vais changer les couleurs. Pa, question 6, 7, 8 et 9. Il faut mettre les mots dans les boîtes, dans le bon espace. Aujourd'hui, c'est plus difficile. Donc, j'ai le quoi? De surfer sur quoi? Une heure par quoi? Utiliser les mots pour traduire les phrases. Pa, une défi additionnel. C'est ici, il faut traduire en français. I can go out with my friend. If I get back before 10.30, c'est difficile ça. I'll say one mark if you get to here perfectly. A bonus mark if you can get to the end. Two marks available. Huit, c'est la note d'admission aujourd'hui. Je serai content avec huit. Dix ou plus, c'est très fort. Alors, put me on pause, guys. I'm going to give you, let's say, five minutes to do this. Sur les portables, mettez en minuteur pour cinq minutes. Put me on pause when your timer goes off on your phone. Recommencez le vidéo et je vous donne les réponses. Bon courage mes petits. Oh, j'ai oublié. Remember, this is a test. Absolutely no looking back in your book. I really want you to test yourself. See if you know this. This is what lockdown is all about. It's about, it's an opportunity for you to develop your independent learning skills, to become like proper students and to get good. So no cheating. You're only cheating yourself. It's true. Alors donc, mettez-moi ce pause. Five minutes on your phones. Restart me in five minutes time. Bon courage. Toi, deux, un. Allez, on y va. Hello, mi fiti. Right, guys, let's see what you've got. I want eight today. If you score under eight, you need to spend more time on Memorize for this vocab before you move on. If you've got over eight, bon effort. Twelve will be a really good score today. Let's see what you've got. Donc, le premier, avoir le droit de, means to be allowed to or to have the right to. Anything that's similar to that, give yourself a tick aujourd'hui. Alors, le deuxième, sortir avec mes amis. Sortir, c'est le verbe to go out. So, aller is to go. Sortir is to go out. Avec mes amis means with my friends. So, to go out with my friends, c'est la phrase. Alors, le troisième, sortir toute seule. Encore une fois, on sait que sortir is to go out. Toute seule literally means all alone. To go out all alone, you'd say in English to go out alone or on my own. Anything like that, give yourself the mark. Numéro 4, c'est juste. Penser de mots en anglais, justice, c'est juste, veut dire, it's fair, et cinquième, à la condition que, on the condition that, or as long as I've done that, or anything like that, give yourself the mark. Alors, le premier cinq, on a complété, first five down, I told you I wanted eight today, let's see what we can do, avec les choses les plus difficiles maintenant, il fallait prendre le bon mot pour compléter la phrase, donc, numéro six, veut dire, j'ai le Doit. I'm allowed to surfer sur internet to go online une heure par jour. I'm allowed to go online one hour a day. That might be some extreme parents there. Right, guys, get rid of the words you've used. Doit, internet et genre sont finis. Et voilà, on continue. Numéro 7. J'ai le doigt de au McDo avec mes amis. Si j'ai mon sur moi, veut dire j'ai le doigt d'aller à McDo avec mes amis. Si j'ai mon portable sur moi. En anglais, I'm allowed to go to McDonald's with my friends if I've got my phone on me. Voilà, alors il y a un, deux, trois, quatre qui reste. Numéro 8 dit, je regardais la télé dans ma chambre 11 heures du soir si je veux. Ça veut dire, je peux regarder la télé dans ma chambre jusqu'à 11 heures du soir. Si je veux, one of my favorite words, jusqu'à, means until. So the whole thing says, I can watch TV in my room until 11 if I want. Too late for me. Et finalement, numéro 9, il y a seulement deux mots qui restent. When you look at it like this, see my exam skills is simple. J'ai le droit de sortir toute seule si mes parents savent où je vais et avec qui. All right, this is definitely the hardest one. But as it was last, it was easiest to pick out. It says, <laughs> I'm allowed to go out alone if my parents know where I'm going and who with. Voila. All right, guys, give yourself a mark out of 12. Eight will be a good score. Under eight, you're not ready for today. Go back and learn some vocabulary. If you've had a go at extra challenge, this is what you need. I can go out with my friend if I get back before 10.30. 
je peux sortir avec mes amis ou mon ami, et je dis mon ami, c'est singular. Je peux sortir avec mon ami si je rentre avant 10h30 ou avant 10h30 ou avant 22h30. Et instead of rentre, you can use return as well. Easy. Right, guys, we said one mark if you got to here, and then another mark if you got to here, which gives you a bonus two marks. You could get 49 out of 12. Add up your scores, give yourself a grand total for me, mes petits. Well done on this. If you've got over eight, you're ready to carry on. Let's have a look at what we got. Hello, mes petits. Donc maintenant, on va faire une activité de lecteur. Remember what we do when we do a reading. The reading's more straightforward today for you, but you still need to remember our exam skills, which are don't in the exam say help. You need to independent, be independent. You don't need to ask for help. You need to use help. I'm going to make that stick over the next two years. This is what you need to remember. So hold. Don't read the text. Don't read the French on the exam paper. <coughs> Always start with the questions. Read through the questions. Analyze the questions. And number two, annotate them. Translate them. Think about what vocabulary you need to go for. This will give you the synopsis of the text that you need. It will give you the context to help you understand it. And ultimately, with those two things, you're going to get more marks. We do help because it is worth marks. On a really tough text, if you're really struggling, locate. Go in with your pen and underline or highlight where you think is the crucial bit of information and analyse it. And then finally, prepare for the unprepared. As always, today, you're going to see a text with a lot of unknown vocab. But don't worry, it's nothing you can't handle. You can do this. Prepare for the unprepared. See if you can work out the gist. That's the skill you'll need to get a top mark at GCSE. Allons, mes petits. All of this is on la fouille que j'ai attaché à Frog. I'm going to go through each activity step by step by step and set you to task. Alors donc, ici, vous avez le, le, le texte pour aujourd'hui et vous avez un texte pour 4% Jamel. Voilà. Manon, voilà, Astrid, voilà, et Charles, voilà. Alors donc, ici vous avez le texte, but don't even think about starting to read this text. Let's go through the activities and our exam technique. Alors, la première chose à faire, il dit lisez le texte et complétez la grille. Donc ici vous avez le grille et ici vous avez, um, pardon, ici vous avez les personnes et ici vous avez le grille avec trois tranche d'information clé. So we know from help and looking at this, we're looking for what they're all allowed to do. So think, uh, j'ai le droit de, je peux. What they're not allowed to do, je ne peux pas. Um, and then finalement, les conditions. So à condition que, what do they need to do to fulfill it. So I admit for help, there's not a lot to go on, but at least this is giving you the overview. You're looking for what they're allowed to do, what they're not allowed to do, et les conditions. Complétez ça pour tuer les personnes ici. Ça, c'est activité 1, difficulté 20. Après avoir fait ça, activité 2, c'est plus compliqué. Cherchez dans le texte pour le vocabulaire ici, mes petits. Et finalement, I've got a really good extra challenge for you today. C'est parfait. Alors, the idea of this est que il faut utiliser certaines phrases dans le texte que tu, tu viens de faire pour vous aider à traduire le texte. Ici, j'ai un petit paragraphe, mais attention, j'ai changé le temps. C'est au passé ici, c'est aux imparfaits ici. I put in some key phrases like going around someone's house. How do you say that in French? Going to someone's house. Alors non, c'est difficile pour défi additionnel seulement. Essayez de traduire le paragraphe. Alors mes petits, if you don't know what to do for each activity, just watch that little bit before. Go back a few slides and watch it again. I'm going to give you 10 minutes. So, sur votre portable, mettez un minuteur pour 10 minutes. You know how this is done. Restart me in 10 minutes time and I'll go through the answers and I'll break it down for you. Alors mes petits, vous avez 10 minutes, bon courage, on y va!
Hello Minfiti, right, if you've restarted the video, you're ready for our answers. Let's have a little look. So, quite a nice straightforward read in this compared to what we have done so far this year. But there's still some tricks to it. And we've still got to get the information right. Donc, alors, il fallait compléter la grille. Let's have a look for Jamel. What's he allowed to do is straight away, j'ai le droit de sortir avec mes copains le week-end. So he's allowed to go out with his friends at the weekend. Mais... Je n'ai pas le droit de jouer à des jeux vidéo le soir. He's not allowed to play computer games. He even says, même si j'ai fini mes devoirs, even if he finishes his homework. Crazy, tough mom. Alors donc, les conditions. Yes, he can go out with his friends at the weekend. Si je rentre avant 10 heures du soir, if he's back before 10 p.m. Voilà, free marks for that, guys. Mark up your own work. Alors, Manon, c'est la même chose. Elle dit, j'ai le droit de sortir seul si mes parents savent où je vais, mais je n'ai pas le droit de aller sur Facebook parce que mon père n'aime pas Facebook. Donc, she's allowed to go alone. She's not allowed on social media. And the condition is, her parents need to know where she's going, but you can just lie about that. All right, first two down. Et voilà, Astrid et Charles. So I didn't mention this in the setup. Charles isn't hasn't got any worries. It's always got cool parents. Let's have a look at Astrid. Donc, moi, j'ai le droit d'aller au McDo avec mes copains si j'ai mon portable sur moi. So she's allowed to go to McDonald's with her friends if she's got a mobile. And mes parents savent qui avec qui je suis. And then she gives a nice example. Let's go for it. So she's allowed to go to McDonald's with her friends. She gives an example that I'll come back to it. Mais je n'ai pas le droit d'aller sur des forums en ligne. She's not allowed to go onto online forums because her mom thinks it's dangerous. I don't know if forums are that, are that big anymore, but it used to be like you'd go on to talk about things like there's like a wolves forum, like like bands had forums and you'd talk to all like strangers. And a lot of the time it was weirdos. Now you've just got normal social media full of weirdos. So that's something you're not allowed. Right, the conditions then. She's allowed to go to McDonald's as long as she's got her phone on her and her parents know where she is. Look at this. For your writing exam and your speaking exam, she does an example yesterday. Yeah, par exemple. Je voulais aller en ville avec mes copains, copines, alors j'ai envoyé un texto à ma mère et elle était d'accord. Love this. It says yesterday, for example, je voulais. It's a verb vouloir. It's the verb to want, but it's not je veux. What tense is this in with the AIS? It means it's the imperfect. Yesterday, for example, I was wanting to go to town. We'd say in English, I wanted to go to town. But in French, remember, imperfect is an ongoing action. So she was wanting to do it. I was wanting to go to town, my friends. So I sent a text to my mum and she agreed. There you go. Excellent. Alors, finalement, Charles dit, j'ai le droit de surfer sur Internet une heure par jour si j'ai aidé à la maison. So he says, I'm allowed to surf online uh, for an hour a day, not much, if I've helped at home, and he adds, et j'ai le droit de regarder la télé dans ma chambre, and I'm allowed to watch TV in my room until 11 o'clock, si je veux, if I want. So there you go. He's allowed on the internet, and then if you, uh, uh, he's allowed on the internet if he's helped out at home for one hour a day. There you go, tough. And then finally, he's allowed to watch TV in his room till 11 if he wants to do it. Alors, donc, voilà, c'est les quatre personnes. There is some really nice vocabulary in here. Let's go for it. Even if is mem si. And you could use that in your like, in your answers today. So I'm not allowed to do this. Even if I've done my homework. Mem si j'ai fait mes devoirs. Je n'ai pas le droit de sortir le soir. That'd be lovely. Yesterday is hier. I wanted to go. In French, in this sense, you'd say, I was wanting to go. Je voulais aller. A lovely example. Great example of narration there. I sent, j'ai envie. She was okay with it. Elle était d'accord. Voilà, that can be. Ça peut être one hour a day, une heure par jour, until 11, jusqu'à 11 heures, and if I want to, si je veux. Guys, you'll need some of this vocab for our extra challenge. So, I think the reading was more straightforward than what we usually have, but the extra challenge was a huge extra challenge for you today. Let's see what you've got. So, I'm allowed to go out but on the condition that my parents know who I'm going with. C'est, j'ai le droit de sortir, mais à condition que 
mes parents savent avec qui je sors. So, with who I go out. Yesterday, I sent a text to my mom. Hier, j'ai envoyé un texto à ma mère because I was wanting to go to the park. Now, think back to what we just looked at. C'est parce que je voulais aller au parc. However, I said I was going around Sarah's house. Cependant, j'ai dit que j'allais. I was going in the imperfect. Chez Sarah. So remember, chez moi is at my house, around my house. Chez Sarah is at Sarah's house. As I'm not allowed to go to the park at night. Car je n'ai pas le droit d'aller au parc le soir. Guys, this is a really, really tough translation. Excellent effort. If you fell on the imperfect, I don't blame you. This is harder than what you do at GCC, really. If you got this, an amazing job. Bon effort. Allo, me fatty, guys. We've looked at the reading and you worked really well. Let's just put you out of your comfort zone a little bit. Maintenant, on va faire une activité d'écoute. On y va. Et alors, mes petits, maintenant, on va faire une activité d'écoute. Alors, c'est un peu différent aujourd'hui. Pour écouter l'enregistrement, il faut visiter le site de web ici, c'est sur la feuille, et il va vous demander un code. S'il vous plaît, copiez et collez la code ici pour gagner l'enregistrement. Alors, non, c'est un peu différent aujourd'hui. On va écouter... 6% Alexis, Jonathan, Sarah, Nazim, Simon et Samira. Alors, ils vont dire ce qu'ils peuvent faire et ce qu'ils ne peuvent pas faire. Alors, attention, dans la phrase ici, il y a une erreur. Donc, ce qu'il faut faire, il faut écouter l'enregistrement et il faut corriger l'erreur, voilà, corriger veut dire en anglais correct, corriger l'erreur dans la phrase. Par exemple, numéro 1 dit, Alexis a le droit de aller sur Facebook. Peut-être il va dire, je n'ai pas le droit d'aller sur Facebook parce que ma mère dit que c'est dangereux. Donc, il faut changer à le droit. You need to change it to, isn't allowed to. Donc, il faut ajouter, n'a pas. Lovely. Look at that writing. <laughs> N'a pas le droit d'aller sur Facebook. Donc, changer et corriger les erreurs, c'est un peu différent. So, on your sheet, I put some boxes underneath. Just write the correction. You can cross off like on the main one or just write out the correction. You don't have to write the whole sentence. Just change the little bit that you've corrected. Guys, follow the link. Listen to it as many times as you want to get these answers. When you're done, if you restart the video, I'll go through the transcript and we'll pick out some vocab. Then I'll go through your answers. Alors, remember, you need to change it all in French. Be careful. Alors, bon courage, mes petits. Ah, j'oublie. I want three today. This is a bit tougher because it's a strange activity. Donc, trois sur six, bon effort. I know some of you will be going for full marks. You can listen to this as many times as you want. It's not cheating. Get your practice up. Bon courage. On y va, mes petits. Hello, mes petits. You're right, guys. See how you got on. You know how this works. Read through the transcript. Look at what you need to do and see if you can do it. Obviously, it's more complicated today because you have to change those answers. Read it through. Look at how you've changed it. See if it works. Put me on pause. Have a little check. See what you've got.
Alors, et les mêmes choses, 4, 5 et 6. Have a little look through, guys. Check your answers, see what you've got. Alors, right, guys, before we move on to the answers, I just want to point out a really nice piece of French that I like here. We've got ni, ni. What does that mean? It means neither nor. So, moi, je n'ai le droit. Me, I'm not allowed neither to play on video games at e in the evening nor to watch TV, even if I've done my homework. Ni, ni means neither nor. I'd love you to use it one day. Alors, let's go for answers now. Allons, mes petits. Donc, c'était plus difficile à faire, mais je vais vous aider avec les réponses. Donc, Alexis a le droit de aller sur Facebook. Non. Eo a le droit de aller sur des forums. So, you needed to change Facebook to des forums. Jonathan a le droit de surfer sur Internet, même s'il n'a pas ses, fait ses devoirs. Non. C'est Jonathan a le droit de aller sur Internet. Si il a aidé à la maison et si il a fait les devoirs. So he's allowed to go on the internet if he's helped at home and if he's done his homework. I tell you what, I'll give you one mark for if he's done his homework and another one for if he's helped at home. A two marker there for that. I've already corrected this. Is Sarah n'a pas le droit de sortir à McDo avec ses copains? She's not allowed to go with her friends. Nassim n'a pas le droit de jouer des jeux vidéo le weekend. C'est faux. Il n'a pas le droit de jouer les jeux vidéo, euh, jeux vidéo le soir, is what you need. Change le week-end pour le soir. Numéro 5, Simon n'a pas envie de sortir seul. So remember, we talked about avoir envie last lesson as part of our extra challenge. It meant to want. J'ai envie d'un café. I want a coffee. So this says, Simon doesn't want to go out on his, by himself. C'est faux. Ça veut dire, Simon n'a pas le droit de sortir seul. He's not allowed to go out. If you change it to a envie, he wants to go out, I'll allow that as well. Et finalement, Samira a le droit de aller sur des forums. It's meant to be, elle a le droit de aller sur Facebook. So you don't need des forums. Right, that was a bit confusing. Hopefully you understood the French guys. This sort of activity they won't put on your exams just because it's too confusing it's too much to think about but it's really good practice for you and for your listening skills and for your grammar skills to be changing these sentences so hopefully you did all right on that i said i only wanted three out of six donc bonne for me petit for cette activité et voilà all right guys that'll do for today bonne for next lesson we'll do some some different type of a video lesson we're going to look at the grammar we're going to look at the vocab and i'm really going to test you on it because i'm desperate for you when you get to year 11 to be using what we've learned on these lessons in your own work in your writing exam in your speaking exam this will make your work so good if it comes up so we'll be testing you really tightly on this language donc your needs have completed the homework by then If you've already done this, just make sure you check your vocabulary again. You can go through, you can fill it in with a different colour, you can cover it, look and check or whatever. Make sure you know this for next lesson. Complete this for next lesson or I'll set another homework. Year 9, bon effort aujourd'hui. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're doing well at home. And um, remember, any problems, you can email me. Any questions about your French, s'il vous plaît, email me. It's boring at home even though I'm back at school a bit. Guys, bon effort aujourd'hui. Looking forward to seeing you all soon, hopefully. Alors, donc, à la prochaine fois. Au revoir.